Good morning, students. I am going to continue chapter seven, part number three seven. Today we will discuss about the views of a table. How we are going to view a table in a Microsoft Excel. So let's start with the views of a table. You can walk on a table in two views: design view and data sheet. So first is design view and second is data sheet view. Okay, design view and data sheet view. What do you mean by design view? Design view is divided into two parts. Design view is divided into two parts. First part is field grid P. Set the properties for the fields defined in the table. Now we come to the second view, that is data sheet view. Data sheet view. What is data sheet view? Data sheet view is used to enter data in the table. It is used to enter the data is used to enter the data in the table. Enter the data in 
in a table. This view displays the table as a grid. This view displays the table as a grid. The fields are displayed as columns and the record are displayed as rows. Okay, so whatever the columns are there, that is called as a field stream and whatever the records are there, rows are there, that is called as a record. Okay, so this is the two types of views, views of a table, design view and data sheet view. Hope it is clear to you. Now, I will tell you some rules for naming a field. As you already know that a table has multiple fields and each field is unique to a table. Each field has its own name and data type. So there are some rules for naming a field. How we are going to name a field? So first of all, we have to just remind for some points. Field name can range from 1 to 64 characters. Field name can range from 1 to 64 characters. Okay? Now the second point, second rule is field name can include Field name can include numbers, letters and many special characters. Letters, numbers and some many special characters and some many special, some special Generally, a sign of underscore is used. Now, the third point for to list, field name cannot start with the blank space. Field name cannot start with a blank space. Next point is, you can change the properties of field name. You can change the properties of field name. That is storage size format and validation rule by specifying certain characteristics in the field properties pane. So these all are the rules of rules for naming a field. So these all are the rules for naming a field. How you are going to naming a field, field's name, we have to follow all these rules. Okay? That's all for today. Thank you.